Hello everyone and welcome to another PHP tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to go over um, array reverse. It's another array function, uh, much like push and pop were uh, last week. But this time we're going to, uh, well the name's a bit more obvious than push and pop were. Uh, array reverse will simply reverse um, the elements in an array. So instead of 0, 1, 2, 3, it'll become 3, 2, 1, 0. Okay? So I'm going to go over this um, real, hopefully quick. Uh, maybe this tutorial will be under 5 minutes. Who knows? Alright, so we're just going to get rid of most of this. Array, reverse, array. Now, I'm going to show you one. Uh, there's two parameters possible in this, but we're only going to use one just yet. Um, okay, now, print echo array. So, <coughs> oh, hold on! I, c I always do this, don't I? I keep forgetting I have to start Zamp and then go to it. See, this is why I told you. Uh, this is why I stress to you guys: remember to start Zamp, because I make this problem all the time. One second. Okay, I'm back. Oh, shoot! <laughs> Forgot uh, when you echo that. Oh well, we'll just echo. Okay, so as we all know, um, array v reverse will. Eh, actually, we don't know anything yet. So we'll index three. So we know that that should be two, right? Or three. Yeah, it should be three. So that index, w it should be printing three when we run this, right? it is. So why is it still printing 3? Okay, hold on. This program is lagging. Okay. So why is it still printing 3 if this is supposed to reverse the array? Well, unlike the other functions, I don't believe, and I may be wrong, but I don't believe this function will actually change the array it already has. In fact, no, it won't. But if we do array equals array reverse array, now it will. Zero. See? It has flipped it. Now why is it we have to assign the va the return, pr the product of this function to this variable? Why can't we just call this function? Well, there are some functions in PHP that can do that. And to be honest, I don't know why we have to do it this way. But just remember, you will have to assign this function to the variable in order to, for it to actually take effect. Now, I said there were two parameters possible. Let's cover the next one. So this is the array parameter, the array you want to reverse all of the uh, names for. But <coughs> there is another parameter. And that parameter is almost useless in a lot of cases. Um, in fact, unless you want to just print the array in order, it is. But here's um, how you do it. So uh, preserve keys is what it's called. And if you put false, uh, nothing will change about what we just did. But if you put true, oh, not too easy. If you put true, what preserve keys will do is it will keep these values with the same key, but it will put, say, instead of zero being the first index, um, when we actually look at the array and stuff, it three will be because it's the end of it. And so there's not an easy way to explain this, but if we run this, we'll see our array actually never gets changed uh, it visibly. Now, if we actually were looking at our array, it would. Instead of it being 0, 1, 2, 3, it would actually be 3, 2, 1, 0. 
um, but they'd be in that order and they'd still have the indexes of 3, 2, 1, and 0. So I hope that makes some sense, guys. Uh, I, don't, I know this tutorial is sort of quick, but um, hopefully you understand. It's sort of easy. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like or dislike button. Correspond to how you felt about this video. Now I'll catch you guys later.